Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So it is time for another leftover paint pour. Um, so for anyone who's never watched my videos before, you um, always have a little bit of paint left over in your cup when you do an acrylic pour. So I simply take all those cups and I combine them. And if you leave the cups like this, same size cups sealed, draining into each other, they keep the, the paint from drying out. And I've had it to where I can use it for several weeks after that without any issues. Now I'm not entirely sure I have quite enough paint here, so I'm actually going to throw a little bit more gold in here, because why not? And this, uh, the interesting thing about this is that it's a lot of the Arteza pre-mixed paints. So I'm not exactly sure how those hold up on, um, you know, sitting in a cup for a few weeks, but we're going to find out. They're definitely a bit of a different consistency than my normal paints. So this is also always interesting to see how these different paints react. So this seems pretty goopy, <laughs> which I'm curious about. It's kind of, yeah, kind of goopy. Not like it has like particles in it, but just like it's thick, like as if the water is going to come out a bit. I don't think there's any silicone in this mix, but it looks like there might be because I've got some crazy cells coming up in there. So I'm thinking that there is some silicone in this mix. Maybe from when I did uh, the Arteza pouring paint video with silicone. That's what I'm thinking. And there you go. So that is with leftover paint. Um, let's go ahead and we'll let this sit for a little bit and uh, see if anything else develops. Okay, we've got lots of cells on this one. Here's what I'm actually gonna do on this. I wanna let this sit and come back tomorrow or come back when it's dry because I'm a little concerned with this part in the middle because it's, like I said, it was kind of gloopy and I feel like it's going to be cracking um, as it dries. So that'll be interesting on how long those Arteza paints can last as leftover paints. This is a good experiment. Um, so let's do that. We're going to go ahead and let it sit and come back when it's dry and see how it looks then. So we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's totally dry. Um, I have a really funny story to tell you about this. First of all, completely ignore this messy background. My daughter made a mess. So long story short, I actually grabbed the wrong paint cup. And this one had been sitting there for a few months. <laughs> Um, like I want to say at least three or four months and I'd kind of forgotten about it and I meant to like try to figure out how to dispose of it, but I ended up using it instead of this one, which is the one that I meant to use. So let's do our close up. This is either a fail or it's super awesome. I'm not totally sure. It's definitely very interesting, but remember how I was like surprised that there was silicone in here because I hadn't used silicone recently in my leftover paints. So it was very confusing. Anyways, let's do the close up. So look, this is really interesting. See on the edge, there's literally no paint there. Like that's just bare canvas. Um, we got lots and lots of crazing. And if you can see the middle here, look at all that texture. Like, this is literally, like, bumpy. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. Um, so this is what happens when you use paint that's been sitting in the cup for months. Months and months. It's been a long time. This is quite impressive. I have never used paint that old before. And that explains why it was, like, super goopy. Because basically it had separated. <laughs> and there you go. 
So I'm not sure if I'm posting this as a fail or as a lesson learned or as a, well, even with really old paint, we can make something kind of cool because it's actually still pretty cool. I actually really like this center. I'm a big fan of texture. So, um, yeah, but this is what happens when you use paint that's months and months and months old. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this and please let me know what you think of this painting and so there will be another leftover paint video coming up pretty soon with um actually my recent leftover paint so i'll see you guys later